morning. We are beginning with breaking news. A political shakeup inside our state capitol reaches a tipping point. The Texas House of Representatives just voted to impeach Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. He is, of course, the top law enforcement agent in our state. Let's take a quick live look down in Austin, where lawmakers debated impeachment for almost four hours this afternoon. They are currently in a recess for the time being. Remember, the House is majority Republican. Paxton is a Republican, and the vote was not even close. It was 121 to 23. So clearly, many Republicans voted for this historic impeachment. And just moments ago, the Attorney General himself, Ken Paxton, tweeted saying, quote, what we just witnessed is illegal, unethical, and profoundly unjust. He went on to say he looks forward to a quick resolution in the Texas Senate where he has confidence the process will be fair and just. That impeachment includes 20 articles, everything from bribery to obstruction of justice, abuse of public trust, and unfitness for office. WFAA's Stacia Wilson has been following this impeachment debate all afternoon. She is joining us live from the newsroom. Stacia, this all just happened within the last few minutes. I know it's a lot to digest. Absolutely, Teresa. And, you know, the House committee spent months investigating allegations against Paxton. And that debate, like you mentioned, it lasted for hours today. Here's a live look continuing what we're seeing right now, where that vote just occurred. 10 minutes ago, the Texas Attorney General faces 20 charges alleged by the House Committee. You talked about some of those charges, Teresa, but again, ranging from conspiracy, misappropriation of public resources, to abuse of public trust in making false statements and official records. Texas has not seen an impeachment of a statewide official for more than a century. And we are reaching out to lawmakers at this time for reaction to the impeachment vote. Also, you can read the entire document consisting of all the articles of impeachment right there on our website at WFAA.com. We will have more on this story tonight at 6 and at 10. Teresa? All right, Stacia, thank you so much for your coverage from our newsroom this evening. Now, before the vote today, we did hear from some leading conservative voices, and they were publicly defending Ken Paxton. Former President Donald Trump among them, Senator Ted Cruz as well. I mentioned earlier that Paxton tweeted just a few moments ago after that impeachment vote. Well, on Friday, before today's events, we actually did hear from him. He briefly spoke to the media. Let's take a listen. The corrupt politicians in the Texas House are demonstrating that blind loyalty to Speaker Dade Phelan is more important than upholding their oath of office. Governor Greg Abbott has not yet said anything publicly about this impeachment. His office has not responded to several requests for comment from WFAA throughout the week. Of course, this story just developing right now, reaction coming in as we speak. We're going to keep you updated throughout the evening right here on air and online. And then, of course, we will be talking about this on Inside Texas Politics tomorrow morning. The show airs one hour later than normal, so be sure to tune in at 10 a.m. on Sunday.